Hey YouTube, Mesonet here. Today uh, we're gonna be covering uh, modding. Uh, we're gonna be covering modding for Starfield, the Game Pass version, more specifically. Um, I ended up buying the the Starfield the upgrade, the uh, the premium package or the premium edition. Well, not the premium edition, but the premium upgrade since I already had Game Pass. So went ahead and installed that. Now we're good to go. So the mod, or okay, so let's backtrack a little bit. Where we're gonna go, we're gonna go to Nexus Mods, Starfield Mods. I will link that in the description below so you can just go ahead and copy and paste it and then you get right to it. And when you're in Nexus Mods, you should just go ahead and create an account. It'll make it so much easier uh, or you don't have to, you know, right? It is what it is. So the steps, or not the steps, the one we will be covering today is the Quantum Reshade. I personally like to have my games looking pretty. I don't mind some of the vanilla games, you know, but sometimes it was like a little too dark for me, like the vanilla uh, Starfield. So I went ahead and downloaded the Quantum Reshade. I know, we'll go ahead and open it up. I got it open a couple times because it's going through it. So here, these are the steps for the Steam version of the game. We don't have the Steam version of the game. We have the Game Pass version. So we're gonna have to go to a different tool, just real quick. Uh, it's not that hard. I'll link it down in the description below. So we're gonna go to the Reshade Central by Oopy Doopy. Thank you for this. This made it so much easier uh, installing the Reshades onto the Microsoft Store games because it was a pain trying to follow the Steam instructions onto the microsoft store version of the games it did not it would not let me open up it wouldn't let me open up the right configuration for the games so i got very frustrated with that and this is why i created the video because other people might be in the same boat and this is the way i did it it worked for me and hopefully it works for you too so that's why i created this all right so once we're here we're gonna go to the Reshade Central GitHub, right? Next to Oopy Doopy. How to download it. If you wanna read the README, you can go ahead. It's, I mean, it's there, you click on the README and you can go ahead and read it before you install it, right? But he gives an explanation of why it doesn't work. Like the wrapper method uh, for the Reshades normally works, but for the Microsoft Store, it doesn't really work that way. You need to do, you gotta do, do the memory injection. And so, this is one of the problems that I was running into, but I guess it has something to do with like the anti-cheat for whatever reason, thinks the reshade is like a cheat. But I mean, it is what it is, right? So let's go back to the main page, right? We'll go to the reshade central. We're gonna go ahead and click on it. You're gonna download it. Yeah, go ahead, download. And once we, oh wait, those are the, oh, let me just download it again. Yeah, okay. So once you download it, you'll have it in your downloads, All right? So you'll have the reshade central. I don't like to <laughs> extract my stuff onto the desktop. It is one of those little weird things. So I have a drive specifically, well, I have two drives that are specifically for gaming and I have a section called gaming. So go ahead, create a section if you want. It'll, trust me, it'll make it so much easier doing it this way. So you go ahead into whatever file section you want. Go ahead and create a new folder. The new folder, and it, I like to call it Reshade. It makes it so much easier to keep everything in one centralized location in case we have to get to it, right? But no, and I'm gonna overwrite it. So let's get that out of here. Don't need that, right? So we got the Reshade folder and it will go in there. Right, the reshade central. All right, before we don't need to extract it. Where's my, all right, I already have my reshade central open. So we're gonna follow these steps. Oh, sorry for that. It does the admin prompt, so it doesn't really record that. And it might've been a little bit loud, sorry. So we go ahead to install to the Microsoft store and go ahead, click on it. And it says reshade type. You want reshade plus all the add-ons. 
Yes, I want reshade and the add-ons. This is the version that I did, but you are more than welcome to do the reshade version. But the option that I selected was reshade plus the add-ons. So go ahead, click OK. You're gonna enter the game name or a file, right? So the one we are doing is Starfield. Okay. And you're gonna have to launch the game. Okay, so let's launch the game first. But before we do that, well, actually I can just launch it like this real quick. Uh, just the audio warning, just, it might get a little loud. The opening music gets kind of loud with the game, so. All right. So here's the game, right? But we need to open up the, oh, sorry. Need to open up the test manager. That's the step that we need to open up the test manager to get the name. So properties, we got to get the name of the EXC. I'll link this down in the description below so you don't have to like open up all this. Like you could just go ahead and copy and paste it. Should be the same, unless it's a little different and you could follow along with the right steps. So we go to the reshade centralized installer, right? The wizard. This is the game EXE. You're going to put the name. Boom. Put starfield.exe since that's executable. You're going to locate a detail tab. So we got it. All right, cool. Press OK. Once that pops up, it's going to ask for selecting the application name. So on here, you're not going to find something that says Starfield unless you do, then go ahead. But for me, what worked, I had to scroll all the way to the bottom. I went all the way to the bottom and under here, Bethesda software, right? So this is the version that I selected. I was like, okay, so the pre-shade file is already detected. Do you want to overwrite? I do not want to override because I already have the reshade installed. So no, we're not gonna, oh, I'm not gonna <laughs> overwrite my stuff, right? Okay, the file hasn't been overwritten, cool. This is where it's gonna put that PowerShell script that you would need to run. Do you wanna overwrite it? No, that's okay. All right, the reshade is installed. Check your desktop for a PowerShell script to launch the game within. You only have to do this once, like, so cool. All right, let's exit out of this. All right. And it would this these two bars would show green like after they're both updated, the reshade and the shaders. As you can see, in case in point, I already have one installed, so I'm not going to exit out of this. OK, but before we open up the game, we're going to have to go back to Nexus mod and we need to download literally the reshade that we need which is Quantum Reshade by Hello, I'm Crimson. Thank you for this. So we go to the folders, or not the folders, I'm sorry, I misspoke. We go to the files. So we go to the files, you're gonna click manual download. Boom, manual download. Uh, you could do the premium or the fat, or do the fast download. I don't do the premium, I just do the slow, right? It's not a very big file, so it shouldn't take that long. So now we're waiting for it to download. Boom, downloaded. All right, perfect. So it's here where you want to extract this, right? You're going to run and extract the files. It's a, you will not need to put them in the actual game folder. Remember that folder that we created that has the, the reshade in it. Remember how I like to put everything in a centralized location. Boom. Oh, wait, wrong one. Sorry. Let's go to the reshade folder. There we go. Reshade folder. And there's our quantum reshade. I already put it in there, so no need to run that again. All right. So go ahead and put put it where you want, whatever folder you want. Go ahead and cancel that. Exit out of that. We're gonna minimize this, and then we're gonna open up Starfield again. Oh, actually, before we do that, since this is the first time running this, we're gonna have to open up this this text, right? Just to make sure it's good. Be like, okay, this is where the the preset is. For Starfield, for me, make sure this is in the right folder for you. It might be, it'll be different. So go ahead and make sure that's correct. All right, once that's good, go ahead and exit that. Run the partial command. It's gonna wait for the executable. So you can exit out of that. Remove this partial or this console to the left. Don't need it. And we're gonna open up Starfield. 
just giving you audio warning. Remember, it gets kind of loud. So here we go. Open up Starfield. It's going and it is compiling the effects. As you can see, it's building the shaders. And at how the V shade works, the 5.92, pretty much you press the home key to bring it up, right? So go ahead and press the home key. Boom, we got it. And now you go to this, like the folder where you have the presets, right? So for me, I have it here. So I go home, you put the file, like the file name of where your quantum reshade's at, right? So this is the central location I have it in. So boom, you go ahead and select it and switch into the preset. Now we exit out of this, boom, exit out. Here's the Starfield menu, All right? Let's go ahead and check this out in action. Open it up, give it a little bit of time. And here we go. All right, loading up. And here we are in, what is this area? Atlantis, oh, New Atlantis. Okay, so we're in the New Atlantis area and we're hitting about 60 frames. And I have another mod that's the FOV mod. That'll be in a later video, I'll show you guys how to do that. It's not that hard. But yeah, this is uh, my character. And here we go. Like, this, I believe this looks better, but I mean, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, it's totally up to you how you want your game to look. But I really like this reshade mod. And there you have it. So, there you go. And I'll see you in the next one. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.